this up. So I brought in our Michelle Oliver to help me with this next segment. And today is National Beer Lovers Day. So we thought that we'd celebrate with a little game that will help educate us on the proper way to enjoy a glass. Joining us today is Steven Rogenson, the founder and co-owner of Batch Brewing in Detroit. Welcome to Live in the D. Thank you. Uh, just to clarify, I own a brewery in Michigan. Every day is National Beer Lovers Day. You here. know what? Yes. I like this guy already. All right. <laughs> so when it comes to beer, Michelle is a little bit of a novice. I'm a novice. I like beer, but I'm not like an expert. But you're going to educate us a little bit, right? Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Uh, there are a lot of uh, glassware choices that help you enjoy particular beer styles as much as you can uh, with each one. And some of them are rather specific, and some of them are a little bit more utilitarian. Uh, but I figured we'd play a little game where we talk about a beer style, and then you pick which you think is the appropriate glassware to go with it. You up for this? Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to cheat. <laughs> That I'm is my here method of winning. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Okay, so so these are our choices. These are your yeah. choices, are two as glasses. well as up here. Oh, as okay. All of these to choose from. We're it's keeping things as complex as possible. Okay, okay. so let's go down the aisle. Yeah, we're going to start okay. over here on everyone's left with the pale ale. It's a very straightforward American style empire. There's another one uh, on that oh, side. We've okay. got two I, sets. I see we each got our own. Should we crack it open? Absolutely. And then put the glassware in front of it that you think belongs with it. Um, I'm gonna go standard beer, standard cup. That is yeah. perfect. This is this oh. is ideal. What this oh, yeah. is is this is uh, called a, a shaker glass, and this has never been intended to be drank out of. It was something that cocktail makers <laughs> used to shake yeah. cocktails in and turned into a glassware because they're cheap and they're easy to stack. This is where you get everywhere. Okay. A nice little upgrade would be this. It's kind of a tulip a hybrid of the of the shaker. <laughs> it curves in a little bit. It helps keep. Uh, aromatics inside the glass and a little bit of headspace. It's a 20 ounce glass. We're going to put a 12 or 16 ounce beer in here. Room for your nose uh, as you're going in to drink the beer. You can okay. smell what you're tasting. Okay. So let's put the beer in here right, so you guys can uh, actually experience. Okay, I'll, I'll let you, you start get, explaining you the it? next one. Well, yes. the, yeah, the next beer that we have is our Centennial Pilsner. Um, it is a German style Pilsner, but made with uh, American hops, and that's okay. this one right here. So go ahead and pick the next glass, the, the glass that you think is appropriate is this, with the Pilsner. Is this hops. one? That one is just an erroneous glass sitting on the side for <laughs> Random decoration. glass. Got I would it. pick this one, probably. Absolutely. I, mm, what would you pick? Gosh, I feel like I've heard of a Pilsner glass before. I thought it, all it was goes, that It one. all goes down the same. I don't know. <laughs> this one? This is actually the Pilsner glass. Oh, I don't know there, what it exists. I just don't know what it looks like. Okay. No, me too. That's okay. All right. Actually, no, you got the first. So uh, a Pilsner glass actually looks a lot, a lot like a champagne flute. And really, the purpose is to uh, highlight the, the beauty of the beer, the clarity and the effervescence of, uh, yeah, of a Pilsner. So uh, when you pour this beer, you get to really see the clarity and the color and the carbonation oh, as well. Okay. As well as you can see, this particular Pilsner glass does still have that flare that comes mm. in. So okay, it's, again, capturing some of those aromatics. I can see that beer. now. I get it. The color So you see more. this one and yes. you smell this one. But in addition, you see how the glass moves in towards the rim. It okay. captures some of those aromatics. Okay, so we're running out of time. So let's get through the next two really quickly. Well, I tell you what, let's go to, um, we can do this one, and milkshake. then we'll do the Fest beer, the Milkshake cool. IPA. Um, very typically is put in a tulip one. glass. I would pick this, this one. This is a really... Think, that makes me feel milkshake, right? This is the one I was going to get right. Well, <laughs> we eliminated this I one. I was like, this is where it's going to go. That was very rude of me. We got it. It's yeah, okay. So this one would go in this one. And this tell one. us why while I pour it real well, quick. Again, so we it can has, get to the it's last a, one. It's a really utilitarian <laughs> uh, glassware style that works with a lot of beer. And again, it has that the, the hips that come in and uh, captures the aromatics. Also, with this stem, it, you're not going to heat up the temperature of the beer uh, more quickly than you would like to because you're not wrapping your hand around the actual ah, vessel. Okay. I always like yeah. that stemware important so you yeah. don't warm up the... So here's the thing. Is this the right way to pour a beer? You know, uh, there are a couple of different styles of thought at the end of the day. You this want you, I to uh, be able to see the carbonation, have a little bit of a head on it. Okay. Some people tilt the glass a lot. Some people pour straight. All right. Honestly, as long as the beer tastes good. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Let's get to the last one. Well, the this last is so one, educational. Let's talk about the Fest beer. This is uh, the star of our upcoming Oktoberfest party uh, next weekend on the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Um, and uh, it is uh, a beer that's an homage to a tradition in, uh, in Germany. So, is it a darker beer? This is, uh, it's actually a, a, uh, a lighter. It's kind oh, of a, like a light really? orange. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I feel like I see dark beers in those little I know. Yeah. Like dark liquor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, actually, okay. um, 
We don't belong in these. No, he got us. That was he a good did. one. Okay. And okay. you really need more than one beer to fit sure into this. Yes. All right. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Oktoberfest, the fest beer is meant to be consumed in quantities. You know, super fresh, easy drinking, and the handle to not heat up the beer That's so you can trick, enjoy, right? you know, a liter of this beer at a time. Um, and a that's, a, that's the way we're going to be doing yeah, it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and after that barbecue. On that so one. where can people learn more about batch brewing and find these fabulous beers? Look at this, Jason. Uh, yeah, we're located at uh, 1400 Porter Street, um, not too far from here, actually. Uh, Trumbull and Porter. Uh, you can certainly visit us on Facebook or Batch Brewing Company, spelled out, dot com. I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to guys. you, Michelle. Cheers.